Good morning everybody and welcome to day 69 of the quarantine workout plan. Um, we are one day reaching from arriving at 70, um, which is crazy, but what an achievement. So yeah, day 69. Um, also I want to say, so a couple of days ago um, I spoke at the start about the fact that, you know, mood naturally goes up and down. And, you know, I was having it, finding it a little bit difficult, um, you know, lockdown was being a little bit overwhelming. Um, just as a way of letting people know that, you know, everyone has those type of days, including me, and I'm sure a lot of you do as well. Um, but thank you for all the kind of messages, uh, emails and comments of support. Um, yeah, it was really nice knowing that even though I'm obviously looking out for you guys, that you guys are kind of looking out for me too. So, um, yeah, thank you for that. So today's workout, um, we have obviously our mobility, four cardio exercises, and then we've just got a nice standard three circuits today, um, adding in a few exercises that we've not had for a while. Um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. So first of all, hands on the front of your thighs, sliding down towards the floor. Take a deep breath in, breathe out and just let yourself sink into the floor. And again, breathing in, breathe out and sink into the floor. Let everything go floppy. Rolling all the way up slowly, having your neck being the last bit. And I want you to go down the front of the right leg. So down we go. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out and sink further into the foot. Rolling all the way up and the same on the other side. So down the front. When you get to the end, take a deep breath in, breathe out and sink a little bit further. And rolling all the way up again. Okay, we're going to start with some ankle mobility now. So, one ankle spinning round for me. And the other way. And the other foot. And the other way around. Good, okay. Hands on the knees, feet together, a little wiggle round. And the other way. Good, okay, we're now just gonna do our opening the gate, so knee up, out to the side, and down. Okay, lovely. So now I want you to link your arms in front of you. We're just gonna rotate round through the upper back. Good. And rolling the shoulders back. And rolling them forward. Okay, arms coming across the body. Oof, that was my shoulder. 
shoulder. And rest there. Okay, last little bit. I want you to do big circles one way around with the neck. And big circles the other way. And rest there. Okay, having to stand up, obviously with the um, cardio ones, they can be done seated or standing. Work, do which works best for you. But we're gonna start with some marching on the spot. Off we go. Good, halfway there. Good, final five, and then we're gonna add in the arms. So three, two, one, arm circles round. And backwards. Good, three, two, one, and we're now gonna go into our side step and flapping the arms, off we go. Good, 10 seconds down. Keep going for me. We have 10 seconds left. And then we're gonna add a little punch forward. Good, three, two, one, and marching and punching forward. This is the last cardio one. Getting the heart rate up, I can feel my increasing. Good, 10 seconds to go. Final five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, so we're now gonna go into our first circuit. So we've got three circuits today as per usual, two exercises each. Um, the first one we're gonna do is using the tins, we're gonna do a chest press. So you're gonna hold the tins, in line with chest. You're gonna push them forward and you're gonna come back again to chest. So we're not doing low row like we've done before. Instead, tins are horizontal, in line with, yeah, chest. Forward and back again. That's our first exercise. What we're gonna superset that with is our single leg knee bend. We're gonna aim for eight each side. So what that means, holding on, Bending down, remember, keep the knee in line with the hip. Down and back up again. We're gonna do eight per side. So there are two exercises. Uh, obviously the second one is not time-based, that's repetition-based. So let's get ready for our first one. Feel free to do this in standing if you would prefer. So holding the tins, I have them horizontal and they are in line kind of with just underneath the armpit. We're gonna go in three, two, one, off we go, so pushing forward and pull back. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one and rest there. Okay, tins go down, having a little stand up. We're gonna do eight per side. So standing on one leg, we're just gonna gently lower. Sort of a bit of a twig, sorry. Um, and as I said before, the lower you go down, the more difficult. So if, it's, if you find this challenge challenging, just do a little knee bend, that's more than sufficient. 
Okay, so off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Brilliant. Switching over to the other side. Exactly the same again. Off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. And rest there. So we're going to go straight back into our first exercise. I'm going to do it standing this time, but said do what works best for you. So arms out in front of you. Tins horizontal. Three, two, one. Off we go. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. Good, 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, tins go down, we are flying through this first circuit. We're going to go back to our single leg stands. Again, only point of technique is to make sure that as you bend the knee, it stays in line with the hip. Don't let it drift in, okay? And maybe if you found it easy last time, you can try and go a little bit deeper this time, but I'm going to leave that up to your very capable opinions. Three, two, one, off we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, two more, seven, and eight. Fantastic. Switching over to the other side, and off we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Good, and rest there. Right, first circuit is complete. We are now going through to number two. Now, number two is a little bit different because we have two lower body exercises in this one. So normally I do upper body and lower body. Today we're gonna to do a little bit more lower body because why not, it's a Monday. Um, so first exercise is a classic. We're going to do our wall sit, so you take a, you lean against the wall, take a big stride forward and sink down, making sure that shins are parallel. The further down you go, the more difficult it is. Um, we are going to aim for 25 seconds today, which is the same as last time, but maybe if you want to make it a bit more challenging, go down a little bit deeper than previously. That's number one. Number two is our calf raises. So holding onto the chair if you need a bit of support, coming up onto your tiptoes and back down again. If you want to do it freestanding and practice your balance a bit, that's absolutely fine. Hands on hips, squeeze up and back down again. We've done this with tins in the past, but I actually want you today to focus on really pushing up as high as you can onto your tiptoes, squeezing through those calves. Um, yeah, that's, that's the main focus. So there are two exercises. Let's get ready for the first one, which is our wall sit. So lean back against the wall, take a nice big stride forward. Feet are a little bit wider than hip distance. And we're going to go in five, four, three, two, one, and slide down. Making sure you can safely get back up again. With my granddad, it's always, it's always unsure whether he will, but he always does. Good. We have 10 seconds left. You'll start to feel it quite strongly in the thigh. Five, four, three two, one, and rest there, sliding back up, giving the legs a little bit of a shake. That is such a good exercise. Um, I know that doesn't feel very nice, but trust me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do our calf raises now, so you can either do them freestanding, or you can do them holding onto the back of a chair. But the key 
point here is to come up as high as you can, squeezing through the calves as you do it. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest there, perfect. Okay, moving swiftly back to our first exercise. So we are officially 1.5 of the way through the three. So we're halfway. We're gonna go back through to the second round of the second circuit. So feet a little bit wider than hip distance, take a big stride forward. Remembering to keep the knees out. So again, don't let them drift in, keep them out, make sure the shins are parallel. We're gonna go in three, two, one, off we go, sink down. Maybe see if you can go a little bit further than last time. Five seconds down. 10 seconds down. 10 seconds to go. Hang in there, five, four, three, two, one, and back up again. Oof. Give the legs a little bit of a shake. A real burn that one. Okay, we're gonna go for the second exercise, so that's our calf raises. So I'm gonna do the hands on hip version, please do whichever one's best for you. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one, off we go, squeezing up and down. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Final five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Amazing, okay, we are through to our final circuit now. Um, obviously, as per usual, we have a cardio exercise and another secret exercise. So our cardio today, it's been a while since we've done this one, but it's an all time favorite is our bicycle. So in sitting, elbow to knee, in standing, exactly the same, elbow to knee. Okay, that's the cardio exercise. What we're gonna superset that with is a side plank. So what that means is you're gonna have your, either your forearm or your hand on the wall. You're gonna take a big stride out and lean against the wall. So what I'm doing is I'm basically diagonal onto the wall, but you can also do it with your forearm if you prefer. If that's, you know, some people find it a little bit sore on the wrist. So you find it sore on the wrist, put your forearm leaning down uh, diagonally. And then what I'm gonna do with the other arm is we're gonna lift up to the side. So again, from here, keep the hips down, just like we did the plank yesterday, up to the side. 15 seconds one side, 15 seconds the other side. So we've got that last exercise is a mixture of core and upper body, which is quite a nice mix. So let's get ready for our bicycles. Sitting down if you would like to. Three, two, one, off we go. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Final five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, oh, excuse me, taking a nice deep breath in. Always nice to fill the lungs with air after a bit of cardio. And we're now gonna go to our side plank. So I said forearm or hand onto the wall, shuffle out so that you're leaning diagonally and the other arm we're doing our lateral raises. 15 seconds each side. So, let's get ready. So I'm leaning against the wall. We're gonna go in. Three, two, one, off we go. Good, 
Good. Five seconds left and then we switch to the other side. Three, two, one. Okay, switch the other side, tin in the other hand, and off we go. Good. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest there. Perfect. Okay, final, final one. Again, bicycles, another of our side plank. Three, two, one, off we go. Bicycles. Ten seconds down. Halfway there. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Quickly picking up a tin, we're going to go back to our final exercise, our side plank with a lateral raise. We're going to go in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. Good, five seconds left. Three, two, one, and switch to the other side. Off we go. Good, five seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest there. Good, we made it to the end of the workout. So, well done everybody. Um, we've done a nice mix of things today. I said none of it's been crazy cardio. Feel free to add on a bit more if you'd like by choosing one of the bonus bits. Um, but yeah, we've worked very hard and got some nice compound strength stuff in there. So we're now gonna go through to our cool down. We're gonna do a couple of different exercises today. The first one we're gonna do is stretch out our calves after doing our calf raises. So what I'd like you to do, you can hold on if you need to. I want you to take a big stride back with one, um, one leg and push the heel down into the floor. From here, you're gonna just lean forward. Key point of advice is making sure that that back foot is facing forward, okay? So you can see what I've done here is to push the heel back, lunge forward, hold on if you need to, and you should get a nice stretch in the lower part of the back leg. and switch sides. So again, big stride back, feet facing forward, push the heel down, lean forward. And rest there. Okay, what we're going to do now is I want you to take one arm up to the ceiling and bring it across. Nice stretch for all down here. There's a little leaf on the floor that I keep thinking is a caterpillar. <laughs> it's not though, I think. And the other side, arm up, over and across. And back to centre, fantastic. We'll do a little spinal twist actually, I really like adding this one in. Hands on both hips, pulling yourself round. And the same on the other side. And 
and rest there. Okay, last little bit, just with the neck. We've been exercising for nearly 25 minutes. It was a slightly longer one today. Ear to shoulder, give it a pull. You can rotate if you would like. And the same on the other side, give it a pull. And rest there. Well done everybody, we have successfully finished day 69. Tomorrow is our 70th birthday. Um, yeah, seven decades worth of, of workouts, what an achievement. Um, so yeah, thank you for tuning in and thank you for all the lovely emails and comments. Um, please keep them coming and I will see you tomorrow for day 70. Bye bye.